Grizzly! Got some syrup. This place is huge. Where do we even start looking? Over the years, I've narrowed it down to close to Fallow Bridge toward the south. Oh, then it's back to the broken bridge we go. I'll take you all on. You're mine. You're mine. Just what I need. One more. Take this. It's useless to run. What's that? What's that? Yes. Greenery back in the day? Of course. Though we had our fair share of bitter winter ones. The flowers bloomed in the spring, and the air was thick with birds. If only travelers like yourselves could have seen it. Apologies for my show of force earlier. I realize that must have been startling. You think? I mean, most people don't throw swords at folks they just met. Maybe start with a stop before resorting to violence. Oh, I will take that into consideration. Well, that's something at least. Baby sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Like you for breakfast. Taking this. Feeling good. I guess this means I've improved. Exactly is the moon sphere? Yeah. I've never heard of it personally. All I know for sure is that it's connected to the elemental spirits. That's enough for me. After the parish was destroyed, the sphere went missing. I want to return it to my home. Morley, please let us help you. We'll get your homeland's treasure back. Taking this? The moon sphere should be near this area. Keep an eye out. Sure thing. We'll leave no snowdrift unturned. Look, the sylphid boomerang is glowing. What is that? It's called an elemental vessel. This one contains wind spiritual energy. Do you think the wind spirits could be reacting to the moon sphere? Down there!
Is that the moon sphere you needed? It is. They say that the moon's elemental power is stored in this sphere. I suppose that's why the elemental vessel reacted. I'm so glad you found it. I've been searching for so long. It would have taken me forever to find this on my own. I am indebted to you for your kindness. We can rest back at my camp. We found it. I can hardly believe it. Thank you for your help. What was that? Did I hear a Karina? We couldn't have done it without your amazing scales. Glad we could assist. Though, we should really go back to the camp. Whoa! I almost forgot I was freezing in the excitement. Grizzly! There's something strange about this butterfly. Grizzly! This is kind of exciting. A rare item! Watch yourselves, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Taking this? Let's plan our next move. The moon looks beautiful tonight. Hard to imagine that there's a raging snowstorm nearby. This blizzard roars throughout Lefeia like the moon lamenting the loss of her alm. The moon is so bright tonight, it looks like it's come to tell us something. <gasps> hey!
It's here. The time of Moonlight's reversion. Off now. <laughs> uh, Morley, I swear that child. <gasps> Mother. Hey, what's all this? I thought the moonlight was playing tricks on us at first, but the people of Atern have come back. Morley, what's happening here? Wait! We should go too! My apologies. Oh, the Lunar Sandglass! Atan was famous for this ingenious device. So the history books say. A king from long ago commissioned the Sandglass. It's a clock, powered by the spirits of the moon. The people of Etern were known as keepers of time. At first, they based their calculations on the moon. But with the Sandglass, they could tell time even on a cloudy day. Huh. Sounds nice not to have to worry about the weather to do your job. But the sand glass was broken when we saw the parish earlier. How come it looks brand new now? That's because... Honestly, come back here! But the fairy's gonna come. I don't wanna miss anything. Is that boy? Yes, it's me. Mother. What if... I am so sorry. This was the day I broke the lunar sand glass. If I hadn't, Etern would never have. It's all my fault. Morley? Get down from there! <laughs> but I can see the fairy so much better from here! I finally found it! 
Moon Sphere, give me power over time so I can fix this! <laughs> the sphere... Why isn't this working? Right. I am so glad you're safe. Mother? No! Mother, where are you? Mother! Hina? Karina? <laughs> There's little Morley from the past. So, I guess we're still stuck in those weird visions. The... the Moon Sphere... If I only had the Moon Sphere... I could save Mother. I gotta search... Gotta search the Lafayette drop-off. Hang on! It's dangerous out there! Huh. Let me see. A rare item! Taking this? Yes! Taking this? Soul Guard, Val. You must save Morley. I beseech you. The powerful thoughts trapped in his mind since that day have resonated with the lunar eclipse. His desires have upended the flow of time. In his true form, Morley can protect himself from monsters. But as the child he has reverted to, he is in grave danger. The moon sphere you have found is one of the elemental vessels. The Luna Glow. I am certain that you will be able to harness its powers. Please help us. Much as Morley calls out for my blessings, I too need the power of his devotion. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing voices. At least it sounded honest. It could be worse. <sighs> Only now I can't seem to find Hina or Karina. First things first, I should catch up to Morley. Then I can worry about the others. Monsters out there in the drifts! You have to come back! Morley! <sighs> He's too far ahead. I have to reach him before any monsters do. <laughs> Morley's been looking for that moon sphere ever since he was a child. Whatever's going on, I have to get to him.
Blast it! Not here either. How far did you wander off, Morley? There he is. Grizzly! Come here, Morley. You won't find the Moon Sphere there. I... I know. I searched and searched, but in the end, I didn't find the Moon Sphere. If, if I, hadn't I hadn't been climbing, been climbing on the sand, sand glass, glass in the first, in the first place, place, they would have been, been spared. spared. Etern, my, my mother. mother. Were there any other survivors from Etern? While I was crying, I remembered the tales of the Moon Sphere and how it had power over time. I thought I might be able to reverse what happened to Etern. So I ran out of the parish and started to search for the sphere, but... I was attacked by a pack of monsters. This happened 16 years ago. We have to run. We can't win against the swarm. We can, and we will. It's different now. You have the moon spirits on your side. You can do this, Morley. Then, let's go. Soul God, Val, the Luna Globe has the ability to manipulate time. If you can utilize its powers correctly, you can stop your foes in their tracks. You may even be able to boost the speed of time around your allies. Please use this power to send more of those the thoughts for the future. I still don't quite understand, but I'll try it out and see what I can do. All right. This should be the last of them. We've got company. I'm all right. Here, Thank you. use this. I'm only just getting started. Flame saber. I'm only just getting started. This should be the last of them. I'll deal with this. I'll carry on from here. Keep them safe. <sighs> we... we did it. Uh, phew. So, what happened in the past when you were attacked? I was saved by a traveling merchant passing by. We ran away as fast as our legs could carry us. But this time we defeated the monsters. See how strong you've become, Morley? I have your strength to thank for that. And the help of the Moon Sphere. How did you get it to work, anyway? Oh, well, a mysterious voice back in Etern asked me to save you. They told me this thing is actually an elemental vessel called the Luna Globe. The voice said it needed you for something, but I couldn't see where it was coming from. <sighs> That's disconcerting. We should go back to Etern. Hmm. The Moon Sphere was more powerful than I imagined. I was able to sharpen my focus and delay my opponents. Yeah, you were so calm in the face of that many enemies. I was really impressed. I guess I should thank that weird voice that told me about the vessel's power. I'm still not sure what the voice wants me for. Who does it belong to? The voice said that you two needed each other. Me? Morley, you were so fast as a kid. 
I could hardly keep up. I loved running back then. It was probably... Tonight's lunar eclipse is a special one, known as the time of moonlight's reversion. Some say that time can be reversed when the eclipse is at its peak. I thought if I used the power of the moon sphere during the moonlight's reversion, I might have a chance to save Etern and my mother. While it's true that I've gotten stronger over the past 16 years, I was still helpless. Huh? What's that light? I think it's above Etern. Come on! Endless winter has plagued this land for years, but I've never seen anything like what's occurred today. I'm... Morley, did you see Hina or Karina while you were out here? No, neither of them. Hmm. I... There's a turn. We've made it. Hina, Karina, please, please be in the parish. That light from before is worrying. Let's not waste time. Glad to have you with me, in any case. Well, oh, and you have Morley with you. We had no idea where you guys went. <sighs> Glad to see you managed on your own. Sorry if we worried you. You two look safe. That's a load off my mind. What were you gonna do if we got hurt, huh? Aren't you supposed to be in charge of our well-being, Mr. Soul Guard? Don't blame Val. It's my fault. I was so focused on the shadows of the past brought on by the Eclipse that I forgot about the present. Val chased after me when I fled the parish. He saved me. Sorry, Mother. I came back, but I couldn't do anything to save you. The fairy will come to the parish to name the alm on the night when the moon is brightest in the sky. That's what all the tales I've heard say. Yes, that is the same. But when I broke the lunar sand glass, all the people of Etern disappeared in an instant. Even with the Moon Sphere, I was powerless to stop it. Again. I couldn't do anything to save my mother. Not even reach out and touch her. It was brave of you to bear this suffering for so long. She couldn't hear my apology, or feel my hand. So in the end... That moment will be stuck in time forever, and only my regrets will endure. That's not so, Morley. The emotions you've shown today has revived Luna, the elemental of the moon. Your fervent wish to help your mother has transcended time. I have felt it. No longer is your mind lost in the past. Your heart has stirred as you go forward. So too will time begin to progress again. Carry your love for your mother with you. Into the future. What do you mean? Just as I said, you will be recording a new future for the world. I agree, Luna. the Radiant Sword, by the grace of the Goddess of Mana, I name you the Ohm of the Moon. Fulfill your duty by journeying to the Tree of Mana. I'm the Ohm of the Moon? I humbly accept this mission. Okay then, let's get going. Our group is getting more interesting, it seems. <laughs> We look forward to traveling with you.
I am at your service. The elemental of the moon governs the flow of time. The heart is much like time itself. It never stops moving. At times, it may wax with radiant joy, brilliant and full. And other times, it wanes dark with sorrow, like the black of a new moon. Morley believed that his heart was stuck in the past, unable to move on. But he now begins the cycle anew. Perhaps there is still hope for the parish. A time when it too will have a new beginning. As the Alm of the Moon, I hope I can find a way to atone for my past. I'm headed to the mana tree. So, this is my goodbye to the parish. For good this time. Mother, I'm off. Taking this?